Good morning everybody, it's the uh, duty paid here today and we're going to do a mail bag. Now all this arrived today, I've been uh, buying bits and pieces. So um, where to start, I sort of kind of know what these are but thought we open them together. Now this one is labelled uh, 44 pin IED to SD card connector. Now, if you've seen the other videos, um, this will be used in my laptop to desktop project. The knife I'm using is a Gerber. It's actually a lock blade, which is actually a little bit illegal in the UK, but it never leaves the house. This was purchased in the US, um, so it has kind of left the house, but it's still fairly sharp. Open that on the side. Knives are tools and nothing else. So packed in just bubble wrap. Oh, and an anti-static bag. Let's have a look at this. Now, these are quite common um, in the olden times. Olden times. Um, with compact flashcards. But compact flashcards were quite common, but now... Quite rare and expensive. Well, not rare, you can pick them up anywhere, but from the same price compact flash, you can get SD card for not a lot of money. So this is a, whoop, drops. This is a SD card, standard size, not micro, onto a 44 pin adapter, with luckily pin one marked there. So that should go, upside down in the normal configuration i'll obviously check for that now i'm i'm waiting on a um 64 gig card because the hard drive in the laptop is only 60 gig and even though that is partitioned three times um roughly 20 20 20 i think maybe slightly off but um so i only really need sort of 30 gig I thought I'd go for the highest amount and try there. The soldering on this is a little bit suspect. There's a tiny, I don't know if that camera picking up, but it looks a bit of a dry joint on one of them. Don't know whether to reflow that or uh, just give it a go, see what happens. So that was from eBay. Uh, shall we have a look at the listings? Can I be bothered doing a screen grab? Well, if I can, that would be inserted now. So, first item up is the 44 pin Mal IDE to SD card adapter Y5 by You Stick It, You Stick 5. Um, looking down at the listing, this is for £7.83. And looking down at the listing, this says a maximum support of 32 gigabyte. Now, as I said previously, I got a 64 gigabyte card. So I will probably have to, you know, give it a go. If not, 32 will limit me a little bit, but still be enough to put the um, Windows XP install onto it. Chinese registered, sent from the UK. So they have some couple of guys in a lockup somewhere shoving things into envelopes which is quite efficient so that's not done what's that that's rubbish moving on we have never a good sound when it's uh, making a jingle noise let's have a go here these are that's all these are the headphone jacks i was waiting for let's have a look at these you get the little nuts as well these are a stereo 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or phono jack Looks like they have a switching circuit in, so these will have to be investigated. All the camera focus. Weaken it out. Oh, come on, camera. 
gets it. That's about it. So they're clear, so you can see what is happening. So normally ground is near the neck and then left and right audio. Now we'll be using these into a mono application. So what you can do is either just use one of the sides or actually uh, depends what you're plugging into or twin sides. So they're quite interesting, they were a few quid. Is the 3.5 stereo jack socket switched enclosed PCB or panel mount OM056710 pieces for £4.50 from seller Recongest. Recongest, I believe. Um, these are a fairly standard type. Now, moving on. Make sure there's nothing in the end of a jiffy bag. Lucky, misty uh, thing. Now, what we have here is a minty synth. <laughs> I saw a video of one of these. Contact the actual, I believe, inventor who said, Oh, get it from Adafruit. And then went to Adafruit and they have none in stock. And then he said, Oh, they should be in stock soon. And then turned out that the um, it's like a $36 kit on Adafruit then they wanted $19 shipping and then $10 prepaid or even a bit more than that so uh, it was a little bit expensive but luckily I found a um, UK seller and managed to get this so uh, this will be a kit um, we have some rather hairy perspex. <laughs> Don't know why that's so hairy. It looks like it's been. Uh, what sort of thing that's been? Has that been milled? Don't think it's been laser cut because there's no. Uh, normally you have the scorch marks. Uh, I don't know. It's very clean. What do you reckon? Milled? CNC milled or lasered? I think. Think milled and then other assorted components. Some look a bit loose, which I won't all pull out together. You got the uh, main chip in there, which is a uh, my old eyes. Oh, it's 80 mega uh, 328 P. That's the brains. This is a kit that will require hand soldering and lots of lots of little components which I won't all pull out from the moment. There's a little photo uh, resistor. Little switches. See, we've already dropped What's that little jumper. No instructions, instructions will be on the web. A nicely made PCB, rather nicely thick one as well it's nicely finished this is a minty synth revision 2 so this can be programmed via um, very similar to the old um, Arduino programming but this is the uh, serial interface not the uh, doesn't have a bootload on board but seems to be rather straightforward I plan to do a separate video where I solder up the whole shebang um, will not test my soldering skills so I soldered for uh, roughly about four years in a factory setting making uh, mixing desk these things and the Adafruit Minty Synth Kit 2.0 now this goes um, should be fitted in a um, Altos tin, which is um, mints. I'm not sure if they're available in this country. Um, I think you can get them off eBay, but I do have two tins of the same size I can use. One is a M&S mint tin, and another one is a clear window one, which I've used for projects before. Um, fairly comprehensive set of um, parts. 
Um, should be worth about the money. Obviously, it's been designed and put together and so forth. Could have chucked in the tin, I suppose, but you can't have everything. Um, looking down, this is from the Pie Hut. Now, interestingly enough, if you go to the Pie Hut and order one of these, it's £37 with £2.50 postage. But from eBay, it's £36 with free postage. So, uh, pays your money, takes your choice. So, um, Minty Simp, which I was looking forward to. Headphones, for that will be for the um, baby's first laptop and other items. And the uh, IDE connector for the um, laptop to desktop. And uh, if you're interested, here's my knife. People like knives. Knives are tools. Tools should not be carried in the street. Warning to you children. It's not cool. Should have just used a Stanley blade. Oh well. Anyway, so uh, get on with these projects. Join me next time for a soldering demonstration making random noises and bringing the XP computer back to life. So, until next time, I'm a duty paid. Take care. Goodbye.